Hey what's up guys, Rev here. For the past few months, a very loud portion of the Genshin Impact community has been on a harassment campaign as content from the Samero patch continues to come out. Their main complaints have to do with the design of the patch's characters, including claims of whitewashing and cultural appropriation, because that region of the game is supposed to resemble the Middle East or West Asia. And this harassment campaign spares no one apparently, because here's the latest Genshin voice actor to be attacked by this community. In their push for inclusiveness, some Genshin fans have harassed this voice actress, a person of color, who is responsible for voicing the character Dory, harassing her to the point that she had to close off her Twitter DMs and remind fans of the game that voice actors are not their characters. A sentiment that is hardly surprising given the well-documented inability of Genshin players to separate fictional characters from reality, which has led to countless artists being harassed over the course of the game's history. So here's the character's design in case you were wondering. Apparently in some people's eyes, this was an orientalist design and cultural appropriation. Terms that continue to lose all meaning because of situations like this. But regardless of how insane these complaints about Dory's character design might be, Genshin players have every right to make them, just like how I have every right to make fun of their complaints. However, they have no right to harass the voice actor responsible for her. And I see no greater irony than harassing a person of color in the pursuit for better representation. These people are dragging down a living, breathing version of the population they claim they are trying to protect through their complaints about these character designs. It's sad this community has to be routinely reminded that voice actors are not their characters. In fact, they have little to nothing to do with their character designs or dialogue. They are there to be the mouthpiece that puts them to life. It just goes to show you how shallow these complaints are. This entire campaign is the definition of performative outrage and an excuse to bully and harass people on social media. And luckily, Common sense seems to have won, as this voice actor has received a great deal of support from not only fans, but fellow voice actors as well. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.